The most common place where legal disputes are resolved is in court before a judge and a jury. Over the years, alternative methods of resolving disputes have emerged, and one of them is arbitration. Arbitration is an alternative way of resolving a claim where a legal claim is resolved by a single arbitrator or a panel of arbitrators. The arbitrator is usually a lawyer or a retired judge, and we are seeing arbitration used by employers on a much more frequent basis. Arbitration is very different than going to court. First and foremost, the paperwork that's involved is very different. The fees associated with court and arbitration are also quite different. Arbitration is a much faster process than a court proceeding. It could take a matter of months versus a number of years. The discovery involved in arbitration is sometimes more limited than what you'd experience in court. And when I refer to discovery, I'm referring to the exchange of documents and the number of depositions that can be taken. Another difference between arbitration and a court proceeding is that the result in arbitration is final. You can't appeal it, but in court, the losing party would be able to file an appeal. The process of arbitration starts with what's called the statement of claim. In that particular document, a employee is going to describe what it is that he or she or they believe is unlawful. After a statement of claim is filed, the next major step in the process of arbitration is selecting an arbitrator. Unlike court where a person has no discretion whatsoever in who is going to be the judge in their case, in arbitration, the parties actually get a say in who is gonna be the arbitrator. The next step in arbitration is the discovery phase. And that looks like the litigation phase that you would see in court, except that it's shorter. The main event, so to speak, in an arbitration is the hearing itself. The arbitration is typically conducted in a conference room in an office building, unlike what you see in TV potentially with big courtroom drama. This is a much more toned down, closed door process where the parties are given a pre-described period of time to put on their case, so to speak. The final process in arbitration looks just like court in the sense that the arbitrator makes a decision. Unlike court, where the decision made by the initial court can be appealed to another court, in arbitration, the decision for all intents and purposes is a final one. As the arbitration process is meant to offer an alternative form of protection in the workplace, there is nothing about signing an arbitration agreement that prevents you from enforcing your rights in the workplace. We are experienced employment counsel that are oftentimes called upon to protect the interests of employees who have signed arbitration agreements. And we navigate the arbitration process regularly with those clients. If you are an employee who is in need of experienced employment counsel to help enforce an arbitration agreement and the protections in the workplace, do not hesitate to give us a call.